This is a degenerative disorder that causes tremors, limb stiffness, balance problems, anxiety, and depression. Nobody knows what causes it, but new studies suggest it may begin in the gut and spread to the brain. My grandmother on my mother's side lived to be 102. She never had it. My aunts on my dad's side lived to be in their, their late 80s. They didn't have it. Nobody in Gregory Monroe Jr.'s family had Parkinson's. In fact, for most of his life, he didn't even know what it was. But at age 40, Gregory was at work when he noticed his hand shaking. I was working for overnight security, and I was telling the guest that his music was too loud, and my hand started to tremor. Nobody knows what causes it, but Duke University gastroenterologist Roger Little is looking into how the gut-brain connection may play a role. It's recently been discovered that there are specific cells in the lining of the gut that connect to the vagus nerve and send signals to the brain. Now Little's team is taking it a step further, looking at specific cells found in the gut. Our laboratory discovered that these enteroendocrine cells contain a protein that's involved in Parkinson's disease. When the protein malfunction, it clumps together and spreads from cell to cell. These clumps are called Lewy bodies and are a major sign of Parkinson's disease. It surprised me that this happens very quickly in mice. Little hopes what they're learning will help to stop Parkinson's before tremors or other symptoms begin. Researchers across the country are looking at ways to intercept the gut-brain connection in hopes of preventing Parkinson's altogether.